chemistry. And now, when David Banner grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. Today we're building Marvel's resident rage monster, the Hulk, also known as Bruce Banner, or David Banner. Headlining his own comic back in 1962, Bruce's life changed forever when a heavy dose of gamma radiation and untreated trauma turned him into the big green monster. Sometimes he's gray, sometimes he's scaly, but he's always angry. Our goals to build are pretty straightforward. We need to be the strongest one we can be, we need a healing factor and damage rolls to match, as well as just be a large combatant. We are also Bruce as much as we are the Hulk, so some skill proficiency is worthy of Dr. Banner. Lastly, most importantly, we need to rage. That's the most iconic thing the Hulk does, and a huge indicator of what class we're going to pick. But Bruce was a human before he was the Hulk, so as a human we get 8 hit points, we have a speed of 25 feet, we're a medium sized creature, and for our ancestry ability scores, put him in the strength and constitution, this is more important for the Hulk, but we'll get banner stuff later. For our human feet at this level, get versatile training, pick adopted ancestry, orc, so we can get that blast of gamma radiation with some feats later on. For heritage, we need to get blasted with radiation, and the original Hulk being more of a Jekyll and Hyde kind of creature, the nowadays Hulks resembles more of like a werewolf transformation. I think it's better to flavor the transformation than inherently make it weaker, because ideally, I think Giant Instinct with Barbarian would be perfect for the Hulk, but we can get that size without losing any type of damage. So we're going to go with Beastkin. Official description is that when they shift, typically their teeth are more prominent, their skin toughens to be like hide, their hair lengthens, and their eyes re-change their shape. If not for nothing, the Hulk does get bigger, has a bit of a pigmentation change, and his eyes get bigger. His skin is tough as hell, and he gains a lot of hair. So, pick that. For our actual beast we pick, I say pick T-Rex, because I like it more than the others for Bruce. Plus, you know, green, green? Yeah, maybe throw in some Devil Hulk. I don't know. Don't worry about hybrid mode until we get Hulk to his preferred size, but we can call hybrid mode kind of a Lou Ferrigno type of Hulk. Throw on some green paint and some big hair, at least until we can get into our Savage Hulk phase. As a Beastkin, you do get the Beast and Beastkin traits, as well as the chain shape action, giving us that transformation I mentioned earlier, and our jaws can deal 1d4 piercing damage. They're agile, finesse, and iron armed attacks, and they're in the brawling weapon group. In your humanoid shape, you retain the appearance of original ancestry. So, you know, you lose your green and you lose your big hair when you're just Banner. Bruce is a Gamma Scientist, so I think it's better to go for more of a background related to, you know, Scholarly Pursuits, we're going to go with Scholar. You're trained on the Arcana scale and the Academia Lore scale. For Ability Boost, you have to put one into Intelligence or Wisdom, put it into Intelligence, and you use the second one and put it into a Strength. We also get the Assurance skill for you with Arcana. You can forgo rolling a skill check and instead roll a result of 10 plus your proficiency bonus. And after our background, pick our class, and our class, of course, is going to be Barbarian. As a Barbarian, you get 12 plus your Constitution modifier every level for health, which means Hulk is going to have big boy health points by the end of this build. You're an expert in Perception. Fortitude and will saves, as well as your train and reflex. As a barbarian, you're trained in athletics, as well as three plus your intelligence modifier and skills. We're gonna get a bonus to our intelligence with our level one boosts, so we're gonna even out of five skills this level. Pick society, acrobatics, intimidation, engineering lore, and scribing lore. I try to get these to fit to work for both the Hulk and Banner. As a barbarian, you're trained in simple weapons, martial weapons, and armored attacks. You're trained in light armor, medium armor, and armor defense, so your Hulk can wear armor if you want. You're also trained in the barbarian class DC. As well as our Barbarian class, we also get our first level ability boost. We're going to put him in the Strength, Constitution, Dexterity, and Intelligence. The Hulk has a lot of very strong physical stats, but he has a very strong mental stat as well, with of course it being Intelligence. As a Barbarian, we get access to a little ability called Raid. We gain a number of hit points that are temporary, equal to our level plus our Constitution modifier. This burst of unabashed fury lasts for only about one minute, or until there are no enemies you can perceive, or you fall unconscious, whatever falls first. You can't voluntarily stop raging, however, but while you're raging, you deal two additional damage with melee attacks and armed attacks. This additional damage is half, your weapon armed attack is going to be agile, so if you bite someone, it's going to take half damage. You take a negative one to your AC, you can't use actions with the concentrate trait unless they also have the rage trait, and you can seek while you're raging. After you stop raging, you lose your temporary hit points from rage, and you can't rage again for one minute. For a barbarian instinct, it's a big deal. I tend to go with the best options, but the Hulk is a special case. The most damage output would be animal, but the Hulk isn't banner sized and throwing people around is important for him. So controversial, but banner rages, he turns into a giant man. But giant instinct works with giant weapons, which the Hulk seldom uses. He boxes more than he swings a giant axe, 
So to get big, we need a different way to do it. This is why I picked Beastkin. It's a secret mouse cool to help us later. So we're going to go with Animal Instinct. Primarily, we're going to go with 8. With Barbarian Instincts, you get this thing called an Anathema. Anathema? Anathema. It basically means you would disrespect the animal of your chosen kind. It goes against your instinct as well as using weapons while you're raging. So it'll go around beating up gorillas. When you rage, you gain an animal's chosen unarmed attack. For apes, you get a punch, which is 1d10. As you are raging, you gain resistance to both piercing and slicing damage, which is great for the Hulk. And are we also... On top of that, we get a first level feat, and for our barbarians, we can get a drone rush. While you're raging, you increase your encumbered and maximum bolt limits by 2, as well as get a plus 1 status bonus to athletic checks to lift heavy objects, escape, and force open, which is great for someone like the Hulk. He really is an athletic dude. At barbarian level 2, we get a barbarian feat, and second wind is great if you want to keep raging. You can rage without waiting that one minute after your previous rage, or one round with quick rage eventually, but if you end that second rage, you're fatigued until you wait 10 minutes. Skill feat, you get Titan Wrestler to disarm, grapple, shove, or trip creatures that are two times larger than yourself, or three times larger than yourself in your legendary athletics. With this, Hulk might be able to grapple Demon Hulk, or even Galactus, if we get to legendary. Maybe Galactus, I have no idea what he'd be. Definitely Colossal. At the third level, Barbarian, we get Deny Advantage. You need to be right up in there in the fight, but you can't be surrounded. But with this, you're not flat-footed to hidden, undetected, or flanking creatures of your level or lower, or creatures of your level and lower using surprise attack. However, they can still help their enemies flank. General feat, toughness to increase our health by our level, and skill increase to get athletics up to expert. Hulk is a pretty strong dude. At the 4th level Barbarian, we have a lot of great choices, but oversized throw sounds great for someone like the Hulk, as you can throw things like logs, carriages, and get more of Hulk's rather unorthodox fighting style by throwing things at people. For our skill feat, get Combat Crawler to fight while we're climbing up things. At the 5th level Barbarian, we get Ability Boost, putting in Strength, Constitution, Intelligence, and Dexterity. For Answers feet, get Orc Ferocity, to be knocked down, but not out, and remain at 1 HP, and your wounding condition increases by 1. Brutality, your proficiency ranks in Simple Weapons, Martial Weapons, and Armor Attacks, increase the Expert, and your Skill increase, get Acrobatics up to Expert as well. At the 6th level Barbarian, get Raging Athlete. While you're raging, you gain a Climb Speed and Swim Speed equal to your Land Speed, and the DC of High Jumps and Long Jumps are decreased by 10. Your distance for a vertical leap increases with 5 feet vertically, and your distance on your horizontal to 15 feet if your speed is at least 15 feet, and 20 feet if your speed is at least 30. The Hulk is like a toddler on a sugar rust, an uncoordinated battle of just smashing things up and going through walls and up things at a tremendous speed. For skill feet, get powerful leap. When you leap, you can jump 5 feet up more on a vertical leap, and increase the distance you can horizontally jump by 5. Use this with Raging Athlete, and you can get crazy amounts of height, and we aren't even level 7 yet. At level 7 you get a general feat, no oneself, you fail a saving throw against an emotional effect instead of critically failing it, which is great for someone who's in a bad mood all the time, and when they're in a bad mood they tend to destroy whole ass city blocks. Juggernaut, your proficiency rank in fortitude saves increase up to master, and when you roll a success on a fortitude save you get a critical success instead. For a skill increase you get athletics up to master, and for weapon specialization you deal an additional 2 damage weapons or armed attacks in which you're expert in. This damage increases up to 3 if you're a master, we also get our specialization ability this level, which means our fists are now doing 1d12. We're punching and hitting as much as a great axe right now. This is awesome. But at the 8th level Barbarian, we need to increase the rate of our punches as well as gain of speed boost. So we're going to go to Monk Dedication because we need to improve our hand-to-hand -hand skills. So we get Powerful Fist. We increase our normal punches up to 1d6, which doesn't matter because we have Ape Instinct, which does 1d12 right now. For our skill feat, Experienced Professional, you use Lore to earn income. If you roll a critical failure, you get a normal failure instead. If you're expert in Lore, you gain twice as much income from the failed check to earn income unless this is originally a critical fail. You won't be cashing checks and breaking necks with this, but you'll be able to keep food on the table and also break some necks if you need to. At the ninth level, you get Ancestry Feet, get Undying Ferocity. When you use Orc Ferocity, you gain temporary hit points equal to your level. I don't know if the stacks are Barbarian temporary hit points, but if anything, it's just more health. Lightning Reflexes, your proficiency rank and reflex saves increase to Expert, and you also get Raging Resistance. While Raging, you gain Resistance equal to 3 plus your Constitution modifier to damage based on your instincts. So, you resist piercing and slashing damage. This is good for enemies like Wolverine or Deadpool, but maybe not so good for like Juggernaut and the Thing. Our acrobatics also increases up to Master. At the 10th level, Barbarian get ability boost, put them in strength, constitution, charisma, and intelligence. For our Barbarian feed, we have so many great choices, but I'm trying to max out damage output, so we're going to go with Monk for Flurry of Blows. To spend a single action to make two unarmed attacks. Meaning one action we can deal 2d12 plus our strength and weapon specialization. That's not a bad roll. For our skill feat, get wall jump. If you're adjacent to a wall at the end of a jump, whether performing a high jump, long jump, or a leap, you don't fall as long as your next action is to make another jump. 
Furthermore, since the previous jump gives you momentum, you can use high jump or long jump as a single action, but you don't need a stride as part of the activity. You can also use wall jump only once per turn, unless you're a legendary in athletics, in which case we can use wall jump as many times as we have consecutive jump actions in that turn. At our 11th level, we get a general feat, get Canny Acumen, so when we reach level 17, our Reflex can now become Master. Mighty Rage, Proficiency Rank, and Barbarian Class DC increase up to Expert, and you can gain the Mighty Rage free action, and for a skill increase, get Engineering Lore up to Expert. At the 12th level, Barbarian through Monk at Monk moves, you get a 10-foot status bonus to our speed when we're not wearing armor, which is great because the Hulk really doesn't wear armor. For our skill, we get Hefty Holler to increase our maximum encumbered bulk limits by 2. Hulk's a big dude. At the 13th level, we can finally get Hulk sized and get Dire Form from Beastkin. While in hybrid mode, you get the enlarged trait, you're a clumsy one creature, your reach increases by 5 or 10 if you start out as tiny, and you get a plus 2 status bonus to melee damage because Hulk is just that strong. Greater Dragonaut, your fortitude saves increase the legendary, and when you roll a critical failure on a fortitude save, you get failure instead. When you fail on a fortitude save against an effect that deals damage, you only take half damage instead. Medium armor expertise, your light armor, medium armor, and armor defense increase up to expert. For skill increase, get engineering lore up to master. And for weapon fury, our ranks in simple weapons, martial weapons, armor, and attacks increase up to master, making Hulk a big, strong, beefy dude who likes to punch things a lot. At the 14th level, Barbarian get fast movement while you're raging, get a plus 10 foot status bonus to your speed. This plus your monk moves evens out your land speed at 45 movement speed. For a skill feat, get unmistakable lore. When you recall knowledge using any lore, like engineering, which you're trained in, when you roll a critical failure, you get a normal failure instead. If you're a master in a lore, on a critical success, you get even more information or context than usual. Meaning, Hulk should be really good at like engineering stuff, which I'm going to count as like gamma. At the 15th level, we get a Billy Boost from the Strength, Constitution, Intelligence, and Dexterity. For our general feat, we get Fleet to increase our land speed by 5 for even 40 when we're not raging and 50 when we are. Great Weapon Specialization, your damage from Weapon Specialization increases to 4 with weapons and armor attacks which you're expert in, or 6 if you're a Master. Indomitable Will, your proficiency rank and will saves increase up to Master. When you roll a success on a will save, you get a critical success instead. For skill increase, you get Athletics up to Legendary. At the 16th level, Barbarian through Monk get Wall Run. You can run up walls with Stride up from your speed. You can start your movement on a horizontal surface. During this movement, you can run up vertical surfaces like walls at your full speed. If you end your stride off the ground, you fall after taking your next action. And for a skill, if you get Cloud Jump to get those classic big Hulk jumps. At the 17th level of Barbarian, we get Answer to Feet and Animal Swiftness. We gain a plus 5 speed boost to our speed as well as gain a traversal benefit like flight or climbing speed or swim speed related to our animal. And as a T-Rex, we don't get any of those. So we instead just get a flat 10 extra speed to our land speed, which means we can move at 50 feet when we aren't raging and 60 when we are. Heightened senses, your proficiency rate and perception increase with the master, and with canny acumen, our reflex is now master as well. Skill increase with acrobatics to legendary. We also get quick rage. If you spend a whole turn without raging, you can rage again without needing to wait that one full minute. At the 18th level barbarian, you get a barbarian feat, get renewed vigor. You spend an action, you gain temporary hit points equal to half our level plus our constitution modifier giving hold that excellent healing factor. For our skill feat, get calf fall, so falling at any distance with our acrobatics being at legendary won't kill you. A great visual for Hulk's durability. At level 19, get armor of fury. Our ranks in light armor, medium armor, armor defense increases up to master. Devastator, proficiency rank and barbarian class DC increases up to master. And your melee strikes ignore 10 points of creature resistance to their physical damage. For our general feat, get credible initiative. We get a plus two circumstance bonus to our initiative rolls. For our skill increase, get arcana up to expert. Just because. And lastly, we get Ability Boost. Put them in the Strength, Constitution, Intelligence, and Charisma at our 20th level. For a Barbarian Feet, get Unstoppable Juggernaut. You gain Resistance to 3, plus your Constitution Modifier to all damage. And your Resistance while you're Raging increases to 8, plus your Constitution Modifier. For a Skill Feet, get Quick Climb to move 5 more feet on success, and 10 more feet on a critical success up to your maximum speed. And since we're Legendary in Athletics, we gain a Climb Speed now equal to our normal land speed. With all that being said, do you want to make the Hulk angry? Because you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Except you will because that's why we built him. First off, maneuverability. You can run, jump, and move over the battlefield like no one's business. Having up to 60 feet while you're raging, or 12 squares if you're on a 5-foot map, that can go up and over walls and buildings with an equal climb speed, as well as mad hops with cloud jump and powerful loops, giving you insane height. You're also a solid unarmed fighter. The Hulk will be sitting at a combo that deals 4d12 plus 24 plus 24 plus 48 plus 8 more from dire form for a low of 108 damage to a high of 152 on a max, making Hulk probably the strongest one there is. Sitting at 368 health, Orc Ferocity and the ability to give himself 24 health every time he rages, plus 8 resistance to all damage from Dragonaut, and the ability to heal 15 health every turn, 
which means up to 300 health with back-to-back -back rages. The health pool the Hulk has is insane, making him extremely difficult to put down as to be expected from Marvel's Resident Rage Monster. Not that the Hulk is the only positive in this build. As the banner aspect, you have a great number of skills for roleplay as the scientist part of the dynamic, as well as a high intelligence to back up the science with excellent roles. Listen, the Hulk is a solid addition to any team as a heavy damage healer without having to spend a single spell slot. Go green, Hulk smash all those puny gods, and be incredible. Just remember, the enemy might just have an army, but you've got a Hulk.